Uh, it was it was day one, you know, that's what it looked like for all of us day one. Um, just anxious to get out there. We just need to execute. Cardell, you won the coin flip. Is that a harbinger of good things to come for you, you think, in this? Uh, no, uh, not really. And I prefer not to flip a coin to who goes first. Next time, uh, yeah. I'll let Coach Beck know it. <laughs> yeah. But you got to, somebody has to go first, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we should go back and forth. You know, I shouldn't. What if I win a coin, to coin flip every time? Were you... Uh, how did you approach it just today? Was it just play by play, just do your thing? I mean, you know, are you are you feeling any pressure in this whole thing? Just what's your what's your insides telling you? Um, of course, the pressure is on because you got a guy that wants the spot as bad as you. But um, yeah, it was sort of more play by play. You know, we just installed a few things. Um, you know, we got to get a couple of guys acclimated to the offense and uh, see what they can do. So, I mean, it was just basically running around today. How did you think number one looked? Uh, number one. All right. Um, he looked like this is the first time playing receiver. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, JG said he showed some speed, caught yeah. some balls. Yeah. Of course he gonna show speed. Of course he gonna show quickness and he'll catch the ball. But you know it, it's more than that in playing receiver. You know, understanding depth of routes, um, getting in and out of breaks and uh, things like that. Carter, can you quantify how much farther ahead you are compared to a year ago at this time when? You and JT were battling for number two. You know what I mean. I mean, just yeah. From a confidence standpoint, from a knowing the air, knowing the the playbook standpoint, from everything else, how how, how much farther are you along than this time a year ago? Uh, knowing the playbook, I, I think uh, of course better because you know what time you want to get better. But as far as everything else, light years. You know, um, being able to go through the spring and get all the reps that that kind of um, boosted my confidence and kind of set me um, light years ahead of where I was last year. Did you have butterflies today going into this? I mean, like, a, oh, like no. going into a chip? Yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, definitely not. Yeah. yeah, definitely not. Yeah. Definitely not. Definitely um, not. I don't feel like I have anything to prove yet because, like I said, we've just been shorts. And, um, you know, we got to get a couple of guys used to the offense. Coach Meyer said uh, we won't know the winner of this publicly yeah. until you got whoever trots out there for the start of the Virginia Tech game. Mm -hmm. Can y'all keep it secret, I mean, that long? Or do you, uh, do you think it'll go down to that point? I mean, if that's how Coach want it, that's how we're going to keep it. You know, um, that's that's all due respect to Coach Meyer, the university, and and more so to our to our, to our team. You know, it's it's funny because JT is when people you know analyze this thing. JT's the guy that knows you know the offense, knows how to wheel and deal and get guys. And you're the guy with a strong arm who can overthrow any coverage and things like that. Is is it is it your aim? In, the, in this preseason to show you can run the whole offense. And I, I would guess for him it's, you know, to show what he, he can do, what you can do, you know? Definitely not. My aim is not to prove or impress anyone outside of this facility. You know, my um, aim is to, you know, prove myself to my teammates. Um, for those who say, I don't know the offense, just overthrow coverages, probably don't know football. <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel out there? Today, how different was it from last year, knowing that you know you're the national champions, and how was it different that you have to do something different than last year? What do you mean? Well, it's a different year. Although yeah. you're national champions, what was the what was the attitude like out on the field? Uh, just knowing that we got accomplished. You know, our goal was never to uh, win a national championship. Our goal was to be nine units strong, to put ourselves in a position to play for championships in November, which is the Big Ten Championship. Everything else, everything after that is just a product and a result of being nine units strong. This hey, morning, after the uh, title game last year in Dallas, you said in the locker room that you were going to look into the NFL. Do you ha remember or what did you get back from them when you kind of looked into it in terms of grade and, and what they expected if you were to have made that decision? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure, I mean, they probably uh, they had a different opinion about me than myself, you know, just basically seeing what I can do on the field, not, you know, all the work, you know, that goes into being a quarterback and a football player outside the field. So that was a decision I made personally that I think I wasn't ready for yet. Was that higher or lower? I mean, what did they think? Uh, uh, that's up to them. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that you can still maintain or improve or – still be in the same position you were in last year if you were not to win the job in terms of the NFL? Is your future in your mind the same um, than it would have been had you left? Um, there's always room for improvement, but my focus right now is definitely winning the job and uh, you know being the number one quarterback week one. Um, the NFL, I mean, I really don't think about that right now. Cordell, we know you and JT are good friends. How much you guys talking back and forth in this competition, you guys? Joking around, giving it to each other a little bit? Oh, uh, we just being ourselves, you know. Um, it's, all, it's all funny games when um, we're not on the field, but, 
I mean, when we get on the field, it's strictly business. Take, take us through that dynamic, Cardinal. You guys obviously have both had a lot of success. And you both want to play, you're competitors, yet there is that friendship. And Coach Myers talked about the culture in the quarterback room, even when Braxton was there, how much you guys helped each other. What What is it like in that room now, knowing what you, you guys both have that same goal, but at the same time, your teammates too? Right, and uh, more important than teammates, we're, we're, uh, we're great friends. You know, but like I said, whoever is going to win the battle is going to be bittersweet because you definitely want to see your friend, your teammates succeed, but it only one guy can play. Do you miss not having a Braxton in that room? Do I miss it? Uh, no, it's just it's just weird. I'm sitting in his spot now. It's kind of it's kind of weird. You have a spot, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of have like assigned seats. Yeah. Does he still have a spot? Even no. though you're sitting in his old one? Nah, we we tried to like leave it blank and then it got awkward, so I just sat there. <laughs> <laughs> I know you watched Torrance and Joe Warren a little bit this morning. What, did, what have you seen out of those two freshman quarterbacks? Uh, they look like freshman quarterback. You know, they have a lot of upsides. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I remember I was in that position, you know, just trying to keep my head above water. So, like I said before, they look like freshman quarterbacks, and we look like the first day of uh, camp today. Cardinal, are you – I don't know how to ask you sit straight up. Are you impressed by the way you handled the spotlight last December and January? And do you think that approach helps you – in this kind of battle that you seem to let things kind of roll off your back a little bit. I mean, you understand what I mean? Yeah. Are you impressed by the way you, you handle things? In other words, am I impressed by being myself? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, yeah. not at all. Not at all. And, and this time, uh, like Coach Meyer told me, always tell me, never, um, it will never change. You know, um, I just handle it like I was taught to handle it. <laughs> Cardell, how dynamic can this offense be? Can it be one of the best in college football history this year? My personal opinion, yes, hands down, because of the playmakers we got, because of the um, because of the youth we got, because of the depth we got, and because of the experience we got. Who really excites you? What, what, give me a couple of names that, that maybe we folks didn't see much of last year that really excites you going into this camp. Uh, I have to say uh, definitely that young receiver court overall. You know, not so much today because, like I said, it's the first day. But working with them throughout the summer, and that's what I'm spending my time with most anyway. I'm, I'm excited to see them, you know, when the pass come out in a couple of days. Cardio, well, what's, your, what's your understanding of what you have to do to win this job? What are you concentrating on most in the next few weeks? Uh, my main focus on winning this job is uh, just managing the game. You know, I'm pretty sure it will come down to who can manage the game better, who can manage the offense better, you know, keep us in, in third and manageable on uh, third downs. And um, just who has the intangibles and who can show it more consistently. What went into the decision to shut down Twitter? I just mean, this this is what I live for right here, uh, football. You know, I'm I'm happy to be done with school for the summer. You know, I got a couple of weeks off of that. But this is what I want to do all day, every day, 24-7 football. So, I mean, social media and everything else really can wait. I'm just going to have to wait too, huh? Yeah, yeah. That sucks. <laughs> 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 Cardinal Braxton said he's been working as a wide receiver for months now. Yeah. Were you one of the quarterbacks in on these sort of secret – Evening throwing sessions that he was having? Yeah, definitely, definitely. That guy is so, he's weird, man. he call you up at like 8 30, 9 o'clock. Are you trying to throw? Like, not really, but yeah. <laughs> he like, yeah, just pull your car around in the back in the way. You don't want to see you. Like, have your car in the front. I'm like, oh my God, this dude, it's like a ninja or something. But yeah, it was times when I mean, he called up like managers who was at home, hey, come turn on the lights in the indoor and stuff like that. But yeah, he, he's been working on it for a while, but. Like Coach Meyer wants the decision um, of who's going to be starting quarterback. Don't come out until you know we try it on the field. Uh, we kept it the same way. Is so there an excitement in him? Do you sense an excitement in, in Braxton about this year? Of, of course, because he because he's back on the field. You know, um, taking that year off last year and um, the things he overcame and did this offseason. Like I said before, I never seen not just him but a person work that hard at getting back to where he wanted to be. So yeah, of course he has the right to be excited. So, Cardell, in Last the end, question. what's more difficult, winning your first three starts to win the national championship or competing with your friend for the starting job? Um, probably probably winning the game. Probably winning the games because, you know, competing, I mean, friend or not, you, you want to compete. I'm going to compete with whoever. You know, if me and JT didn't like each other, I would still compete with them. But definitely uh, them three games.